Today we're going to do something about that boring my first button activity. You'll know that when we click on the buttons we created, we're taken to the my first button activity that doesn't have much going on. Well, I think it's a perfect opportunity to show you how to set a background image, and it's very simple. If you open up your main activity, uh, not main activity, the activity we're going to, so it's the my first button activity, and you look at the XML, the main XML for the activity, you just need to add one attribute, and that's Android background, and then the image, which is in drawable. And remember, all images must always be saved in lowercase, and when you reference them, you leave out the extension. And we're going to use an image called my first background. Well, Android Studio is helpfully telling us that there is no image in drawable called my first background. Let's take a look. Yep, there is no image there. Well, what's going on? When you're dealing with background images, you have to realize that your app is going to be on a variety of different devices with different screen sizes. And what you should do in Android, in your project, you should provide the same image, the same name, but at different resolutions and densities. And you'll have to place them in the directories for each type. So here we have main four. We have a draw ball with extra high density pixel, high density pixel, and medium density and low density. And up here you have the relative ratios for the for the images. And I'll show you how to edit an image so it fits these ratios later. But for now, let's create these these folders down here. Back to Android Studio. So the folders won't appear in this project view. We need to change to project files. So app source main resource. And in the standard in the fresh install these directories just don't appear and you have to add each one manually. So I'm going to create the first one for you and then do the others off camera. What you need to do is highlight resource, right click, new and we're creating a new Android resource directory. Well, what what are we going to call it? We're, let's just call it uh, re uh, no draw drawable. Don't worry about the extension that's added on automatically. Resource type. It's a drawable resource type, and we want a qualifier for the density. Let's add that, and we're going to start with extra high density. You can see that Android Studio has put extra high density on the end of your directory name, and all we have to do is hit OK. Great, I'm about to create the rest of them. And here they are, so we've got the high density, low density, medium density, and extra high density. I think that's, that's all we need for now. I've noticed that once you click away and get click back into the project file view, you can't see those directories anymore. What you want to do is go into project files, project, and then you'll, you'll see them. Well, at this moment, drawable is the only directory with images in them. We don't need to put our my first background image in here. We put my first background image and the various different densities and image sizes in these. And I'll do that now. And here you can see the new directories each have the image. This should work. So let's go back to our Android project view, highlight app and run our application. Oh, before I run it, you can see that drawable has now turned green. And under the Android project view, you can see that under drawable, you have a directory that's named after your image and underneath that image you have your different resolutions helpfully tagged with the resolution that they are. Okay, let's run the app. I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty excited. Let's uh, let's hit this lucky button down here with the website logo.
So it didn't work. That button wasn't lucky, but I'm glad it didn't work so I can show you some troubleshooting techniques. Well, let's. the first thing I did as soon as it didn't work was cut the video because I was pretty crushed that we didn't have this amazing background. I went straight into the Tools Android uh, Virtual Device Manager. Just to check one thing here, if you see the Nexus 4 where we're running, I just wanted to see the resolution it's at, so it's XHDPI. Well, you can see that we do have an image that suits the resolution of, of this device, so why isn't it working? Well, it's pretty embarrassing. If you go into the My First button activity, this is the line that, well, it's this whole, this whole thing hasn't wasn't set so you need to add the on create method and override it as I've shown you before and then once it's created you need to set content view to the layout XML file that contains the reference to the background image and let's take a look let's take another look at our XML file I've also added tools context my first button activity and Android Studio then helped import the tools. Well, let's see what all the fuss is about. Here is the application. After those changes, hit that lucky button again and bang, I see thoused uh <laughs> I see thoused an intent for me happily I replieth to thee. Anyway, that's great. We have our image. But how do you set the image sizes? So there are two things you need to do. You need to calculate the new image densities and calculate the new image width and height. And the ratio is given on the Android website with 2, 1.5, 1 and 7.75. So the original image we had, we just we just let that stay as the XHDPI and we keep the DPI values constant and we refer to this. So to get the high density pixel, I've done the maths for you, you just multiply the pixel value by three quarters and I'm just going to leave this up here for a moment so you can take a screenshot. And that, that's how you calculate it for your image. And then you do the similar thing for your width and height. So here is our original width and height. And then you multiply by those ratios to get the image. So in summary, for the image we've used, here are the values. And I use GIMP. So when you scale an image, you can scale its image size and its resolution at the same time. Do you want to take a look at the images all on one screen? I've laid out the images for you so you can see what, what to expect. And at the very left we have the original image, and at the very right we have the low density image. I hope that's been useful. Thanks for watching and see you in the next tutorial.